That was one break I didn't stick <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, what is up, YouTube? How you guys doing? Um, as you can see, we're here back in uh, Colony Survival, but today we're here with Duckarino here, um, yeah. testing out the multiplayer. It seems pretty good. Um, we spawned right around here. It seems like a pretty good spawn. We got water. It looks really bad. We were just looking at it and messing yeah. around in it, so we lost some daylight. But uh, it looks really bad. And sometimes if you run over, like when you're in the dark and you run over, the sand got really bright too. You kind of see it there, and then it'll kind of like adjust, yeah. and it won't be as weird. Like, when you first run over to it, the sand really kind of messes with you. But the water is pretty bad. It does move. You can see it moving. But it just... It looks bad. Um, <laughs> I do know it's a placeholder block along with a lot of the blocks in the game. So, yeah. But basically, playing together is the same as playing alone, except you have two cities, basically. And we're going to build, like, one pretty giant city. We'll probably have, like, two castles or whatever you want to build in your, your building. But we'll have two different buildings inside of walls or even multiple buildings if we decide to. But uh, I think we're going to like start right where we spawn, just because it's it's really great land. Yeah. So, I say we figure out how we want to start our building. Just remember, once you buy your first colonist... Um, oh, Stop okay, out. just instantly building I'm a just, wall. All right, Trump. Oh, no, I'm just... All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you so, have to have items in your inventory to actually craft things. Like, in your like hotbar. Yeah. Like, not in your stockpile. It's kind of annoying, but yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, small. Um, it's already going night. Yeah. Um, we might might have to skip the night and come back in the day because I don't want to deal with nighttime or place things down when we're starting at night. So I think we should do that. We'll come back in the day and um, yeah, actually get things going. So we will catch you guys in a moment. Right, and the sunrise is here. Um, as you can see, I've done I've done nothing, <laughs> and Duck already has a small little house going. Um, so he's going good. We didn't get attacked last night because neither of us got any guys going but we have a barrier a divider here um this is just his temporary house from what he was saying he's gonna end up building something better in the in the future but oh you already figured out how to get a thing down cool um yeah i pressed i accidentally hit f1 and it told me that so I was, oh, oh nice yeah there you go um while he was doing that i actually cut down some trees and then um i actually dug a mine down to uh the bedrock or whatever you want to call it already um and we put it like on our barrier because we're each just going to dig out on each side and you know set our miners there because they can't really overlap right um but anyways i'm going to get in into this here and uh i'm going to get my banner down which i'm going to temporarily um place here <laughs> uh and again we're going to do a we're going to be doing a road um and it's gonna be like a, I think we're I'm gonna do a three by three I think duck I think it'll look the best yeah like a road um, and I'm gonna have my farms on each side leading up to my castle or whatever you want to call it so down I the way to my inventory then oop no not the banner tool I need the command tool select the wheat I'm gonna start off with wheat even though it's kind of risky can I do like an oddly shaped one and still get the benefits of a hundred blocks oh you can dude any hundred blocks so you can make your farms like different oh so i don't oh, have to I, do, see, I, see. I don't have to do square farms like that that is literally a 100 by 100 still and it's just different shaped i'm gonna do a very very nice looking base in farmland i think i'm really gonna try to get into the building here i forget how wide i went here i think i went four wide right no, it must have went five wide. Bam, and then there'll be a road in the middle. That'll be perfect. Yeah, I think this is going to be good. I'm going to get two colonists. Oh, I don't have a bed for them. Oh, crap. Um, should I move into Duck's house? Um, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just move on in. <laughs> Who are you inviting in my house? Huh? Oh, you're trying to invite people in my house. <laughs> Just, yeah, I'm about to move people in. All right, I need to figure this out. So... Oops, recruit colonists. Not enough free bread. So. Yeah, I just say yeah, I just yeah. You you gotta place beds down first. You gotta learn how to craft beds. All right, I got that. Oh, there they are. Yep. So down food already. Um, you gotta make sure you place crates down for them too. Otherwise, uh, they're gonna okay, have basically. to go back to your flag to ask, access the inventory, which isn't really ideal, yeah. obviously. I think when I get it. Hey, I got one. You got one colonist? Nice. Yeah. I went two already. I'm taking taking a risk. There you go. He's the wheat farmer. 
I think for now, we'll just kind of go with those. And then, um, just to make sure I get light going now, let's get uh, some torches going. Uh, gotta right, protect that flag, though, with my, my life. Um, which means I should probably get a bow and arrow. Or I have arrows, but just get them on my hotbar for myself. So when night comes, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defend my area. Like, I'm going to defend the area with just a bow and arrow without hiring guys first. Just got to yeah. like, divide in that line even more. Well, I'm just making it even, <laughs> so it doesn't annoy me. It, oh, it was kind of annoying, yeah. I tried to line up the uh, my, my pathway here with, like, where your door's going to work. And honestly, if you wanted a one-way doorway, it would be perfect with... Uh, with this spot yeah. here. I don't know if you're building symmetrical. Oh, dude, you, you wow, you got everything already. Holy crap. Two entrances is risky, too, because you'll have to defend two directions. Um, but uh, I already have an idea of how I'm fixing that, so... Okay, I mean, when, if you get an actual fence around everything, it'll be good anyways, but... So this went 20 back, I think, right? I think that's what I did. I forget. You don't want to plant too many farmers anyways, um, like wheat farmers, because you only have, uh, I think, 300 seeds to start. Yeah. Was it 300 or 400 seeds? Have you guys planted yet or no? Yeah, he's planting right now. Yeah, I think it's 300 seeds to start. No, maybe not. They're already halfway. Yeah, probably 400 seeds to start. So you can plant four 100 farms, and they'll slowly get more. Um, and honestly, I think I'm going to take the risk. Actually, no, I'm going to wait one more day before I hire more people. But Oop. I do want to try to figure out how I want to mark more territory, though. Like, what would a... Uh normal 10 by 10 look like over here I could actually do that just look like one giant field though if I did it that way hmm cancel that let's not do that I think let's just do it the next two farms just another 5 by 20 down that's what I'm gonna do this game runs really good with two people, at least. I mean, I don't know how like a big server would run, but this runs really smooth. I mean, I don't know if you're getting any lag being on my internet connection. Nah. Um, what into the funny nah. thing? Nah. One of nah. my videos is still uploading, so like I have more on my network too. <laughs> so it's not nah, even like yeah, like yeah. I was worried because of that. Uh, well, I got that sorted out. This isn't going too bad actually. The what? Uh like. My little wheat farm. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I think for most of the nights, unless there are like anything crazy going on, guys, I think we're gonna just kind of skip through a lot of it. I mean, I'm probably gonna do a lot of skipping around in this, uh, this anyways, just so you guys aren't watching, especially the early, really early stuff, just because uh, I already played through a couple episodes of the game, testing it out. All my guys have planted. Look at that. Technically, oh. if you wanted to be super efficient, you could keep canceling your early game people and make them then go to the next plot and plant it, but yeah. it's kind of annoying to do that. I do think I'm going to manually plant some now, though. Now that i got some time in my other two fields, I'll hire people before I need to harvest them. But I don't want to hire, hire more yet, because it's still really early on. i got to get a house going. It is getting dark, so we're going to have to do some defending. And how many colonists do you have? Two. Uh, Two. I just got my second. So we have a total of four between the both of us. Okay. And you can you can start building like land plots and like even plant them on your own if you have enough stuff for it. And you can technically harvest it. I don't think you can harvest berries. Um, if you can, at least haven't found out how. But I just don't think berry farmers are necessary. I guess if you're going trying to build big off the bat, they'd probably be best. But just going for like two people, I don't think it's too bad. Yeah. But yeah, it is 400 you have, by the way. And I'll f I, I somehow got an extra one. I think from digging up grass, I want to say, it gives you some more or something like that. Um, just make sure we got some light going. Put on each of these blocks. And I got to actually start paying attention because my dudes are going to bed. So, Do you have a so, bow and arrow or no? Yeah, I do. Just, okay, make sure the arrow's in your inventory too. Yeah, I have. Uh, I tried shooting and it told me I couldn't shoot. Okay, you don't need a quiver though. That's one thing I made when I first started. I made a mistake. I thought I had to have one in there, and I kept it in my inventory for a while, and it was just taking up space. I wish they had yeah, some type of like sword or something. Um, I mean, I'm sure they'll add some type of like sword and armor even yeah. for your guys, where they can take like more than one hit or something. But I wish they had that type of stuff. Huh? Yeah. I assume that about it. They do have bricks in the game. You can uh, 
get clay, mine clay, and you can have people turn it into bricks. Stone brick, which would be kind of cool to build with, too. I might build some, like, obviously, like, I might not have everyone, like, live in my castle type thing I'm going to build. I might have some smaller, like, houses outside or whatever. Yeah, like a salmon saw death. Yeah, something like that. Or even just, like, the farmers won't live in the castle. Maybe, like, the bakers and stuff will live, like, you know, cooks in, like, a kitchen or something. But, like, figure it yeah. out. I'm going to get a little creative with the series. I want it to be a really fun building series. It's, you know, as of right now, there's only so much in the game. I got uh, myself a nice looking oh, zombie. star. Ooh, no way. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shot at him too. I wasn't sure he hit him, but he was getting really close to my dude there. Oh, wow. Are you putting your field inside? Oh. I got like a fence. I like it. Front. So then they're like, yeah. I got uh, one guy making bread and stuff, the other guy farming. Oh, okay, I didn't get a bread maker yet because they don't have any wheat or anything yet, so. I don't know what happens if you shoot your own guys with arrows. I haven't accidentally done that yet. Still something I've been wondering. Yeah, you can hit pretty far out. I just sniped some dude, dude. Can you, like, hit each other? Oh, uh, no. Um, try to shoot me. Alright. Uh, if you I hit didn't. me, it didn't, didn't do damage, no. Ah, uh, it went right for you, though. Okay, <laughs> alright. That was, that's actually was very interesting thought. I'm assuming you can't hurt your dudes then. Oh, I missed him. I definitely missed him. He went down some blocks. There we go. You got to be careful with arrows because arrows early game get pretty annoying to try to keep up on. Um, I mean, yeah. they're super early, they're very easy because you start with 300, but you got to make more, which means you need people mining iron and then smithing iron. Like, it's a lot of people worth of work. Wow, yeah. actually, I didn't really think about... Oh man, I may have went too much wheat. Cause you gotta think. Now, I've got all these people. Um. I'm oh, sorry, these two people, but all these farms. So when I hire my next two people, they might go do those jobs, rather than actually cooking and turning the wheat into, or sorry, the wheat into flour. Cause you need that as well, just so you know. This is a zombie over there. Did I hit him? Oh man, you guys are so protected. <laughs> my guys are like <laughs> out in the middle of their field like good luck boys yeah I, I gotta get some small probably hut going too just a temporary hut you gotta watch the flag got... too because if they will hurt the flag and if they kill the flag they start eat, taking food away from you if they hit the flag I'm assuming yeah. when they when you lose all your food and they hit your flag again I'm pretty sure you just lose wow oh, you really yeah. can't see anything in this hole this is line and it's only one deep, but it looks so much deeper. <laughs> it does. <laughs> like, what the hell? It looks terribly deep. Ooh, my wheat's growing. I mean, day's coming. Oh, really? My wheat just so, went up a form, yeah. I don't know uh, how the tariff is done. With it, it I literally just saw it growing. It, it'll, it'll like be a like a look like a color, like actual color of wheat, like kind of like a brownish. You can yeah. see, like, this wheat's taller than this wheat back here. Actually, some of this is already growing, too. Yeah, it's literally growing as we talk. Like, oh, randomly. Yeah, it's, like, coming in. But I think it's um two days, and then it's grown, and then they harvest on the third day. Yeah. So, so you have a bit of time. Um, You just got to be careful of over-hiring. You just... Oh, did you go in the mine? Is that where you went? Yeah, I just... I literally glanced that. over and saw you running off that way. Like, I, but I can't really see the mine, and all of a sudden you, like, disappeared. That's actually not a bad idea, is try to deal with the mine situation and try to find out some ores on your side i just went down the line like straight when i was down yeah, there yeah. so i'm sort of just digging out my side a bit so i'm uh, assuming this is gold huh that gypsum you know what that is gypsum i forget what it's for i'm gonna be honest but Actually, I'm just going to do a little hut off to the side here, just so I don't build it in my path of my actual castle. So, where'd you get clay from, then? Uh, it's actually down there. Alright, uh, I guess I'll find it. What, do you want clay? Stone you, bricks, yeah. You, you want a brick house? Yeah, I want a brick castle. That'd be kind of neat. I'm going to go just for the stone castle, but... This is just a temporary wooden structure, so I can put some archers or something in front and protect it, because I'm going to need a spot for them to cook that's kind of safe, you know? <laughs> that's what this is all about.
Boom, ba, ba, boom. This is oh. going good. And we'll just build some more beds, throw them inside. Just so I have to have enough beds. Um, you'll get plenty of straw once you start harvesting stuff too, just so you know. Oh, I just took out the other yeah. ingredient I needed. But looking at these blocks closely makes them look like they're fuzzy or something. Yeah, it kind of looks a little weird. Again, they're definitely still working out some kinks. Um, I mean, I'm not saying... I don't mean that in a bad way, I'm just saying. I just know it's that. No, but I get, I get what you mean. There we go. Alright, I got decent. So that's good, but then... Gotta be. So I got four beds. I have two jobs that I need more people for, but um, technically I don't want them to go do these jobs, so I should probably get rid of these fields. The only thing is, I can't reselect this as a field until it's harvested. Oh, nice. Um, so I'd have to harvest it manually, and I don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to go risky and possibly screw up my whole colony. I think that's what we're going to do, guys. Sounds good. <laughs> it sounds real dumb. But, uh, man, I really went along this wrong. I just don't want to destroy my last two fields because I could, like, unmark it as a field. Like, you can go into your tool and unmark a area. And um, yeah. if I do that, though, it's going <laughs> to... It's literally going to make it to where I can't place another field down, which would mean I'd have to manually pick up all of those. Which, honestly, I think is our only, our only solution. So we're going to remove that area. These will still grow, and I can just reclaim them after I harvest... Or replace it after I harvest it. But... My next two guys, I need to do um, the grinding job, which is stone bricks. I got them here. So I need a grinder and um, an oven. And those got to be my next two dudes. I could technically only hire one to do both and just kind of switch them off, which is actually what I'm going to do. Um, but I also need archers very, very shortly. I can't really go much longer without them. All right, I need a pickaxe now. We need one more crate. So I have, again, two jobs again that are not being done. Um, when it gets to nighttime again, we'll uh, call this an episode here, guys. Uh, I don't know how long we should make these. So if you guys have a personal suggestion, uh, definitely throw it down in the comments on what you guys think is a good time. Um, also, just so you know, when it comes to um, actually hiring miners, you probably want to put a bed down there for them. Um, the yeah. only issue with that is we're going to have to defend the entrance to the mine as well. So the zombies don't just go down and kill our guys while they're sleeping. But yeah. otherwise, the miners are going to have to come all the way up every morning and then all the way back down. So it kind of takes up some decent time. But in the next episode, we'll hire two more people that will do that. Um, what's your food at right now? I know it's 186. Yeah, mine too. I figured you just had to have been too because you, you, you have like the same thing as me. What is your other guy doing? Oh, he's literally standing here waiting for you. Okay. Ooh, your inefficiency, man. I'm yeah, curious. I'm, I'm huh? Good. Oh, nope. I was, was, was going to try. And, I'm trying to get him to be a miner, but I need to figure out how to do that. Oh, you have to get rid of the thing he's standing in front of, so that won't be his job anymore. Yeah, I got that. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I initiated it. You initiated what? My food to go down faster. And did it say it for you down at the bottom? Siege mode activated. No. Food requirements increased. I picked up my flag to move it. <laughs> no, my God, it made like a weird squeaking noise and shit. Oh my God, that was scary. I thought, I thought things were gonna come like right away. I'm like looking around, like shit, don't come yet. I moved it in here to put it up on my wall for now, um, just because this is the safest. That's gonna be scary moving it to my castle after. I don't know how long it takes till food starts getting used with it, but it's time six food use, dude. So What's instead of my doing? ten a day, it would be sixty food a day for these two guys. I think I broke my guy. He's just stood here. Um, it's because he doesn't have a job. What Wait, does it say at the top he, for unemployment? Zero. Yeah, I think it's because he doesn't have a job. Or he doesn't have a pickaxe to go down there. He doesn't have it oh, above I his head. Know. Normally they get a pickaxe. Just put one in your, uh, make a pickaxe and put it in your inventory. I'm um, sorry, in your um, stockpile. All right, it's in my stockpile now. And oh, yep, see, he just go. got the miner thing on. He's going to go down there and literally it's going to turn, uh, turn night in a moment. Sun's going down, so he's gonna right. be right back up. But he's not going to the mine. Oh, what is he doing? What the hell is he Wait, going? what kind of? Is he going to the mine? <laughs> what kind of fucking pathing was that? You like, you like going out here, up <laughs> this way, and now he's going down to the mine. What <laughs> yeah. kind of pathing was that? I hired the wrong guy. It seems he's gonna make it like halfway down the stairs, then he'll be back up. 
No, he's making it down. I don't know if he'll actually get you anything, but you do need this guy smelting too. Um, and he'll need a um a storage unit down there too. I don't know if you gave him a storage yeah, unit. Yeah, I put him a storage yeah. chest and a bed down there. Oh, you did give him a bed. Okay. Yeah, I moved the bed up there and just put here. Okay. Um. There. Well, now you just have to make sure that's defended. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's it's like in the center. You can, if you want, like, are you trying to defend it right now? Uh, I've just been the cloud tower, and I'm gonna put an archer up there. You can technically so build one way up for an archer, and then delete the way up, and the archer will be okay because archers don't actually go to sleep or ever need to come down. I was told that. Yeah. I don't. I didn't test it, but if you like built that, put a thing up there for an archer, and hire an archer, and he come and stood up here, they still need a bed. But if he came and stood up here, you could then delete the way up to him, and I think he'd be okay. Um, just so you know, like I'm pretty sure that's okay. But yeah, one archer defending him would be plenty. I mean, the, the dude's like 360 no scope, shit like crazy. It's it's pretty insane. I can't wait to see then. <laughs> Alright, let's let's get this guy in here. Yeah, I honestly kind of want an archer too. I'm gonna be honest. Oh no, I destroyed my floor. Damn it. Yeah, that's gonna get some. It's gonna yeah, take it's, some getting used to. It's coming nighttime. I'm gonna get an archer too. Because I, I want one to defend my actual house, so I don't have to do it. What's he doing? It's just scary, because if I put him here, like, I feel like things are going to come around the building. It's always sketchy. They have this this path. <laughs> the pathing path was kind of odd, yeah. Does he Is he being weird again? Another one being weird? Yeah, he just... Oh, shit. Now I've got to destroy guy, these two to things to make sure... He may have picked a different job, too, remember? Do you have multiple no, jobs up? up oh, did he? No, okay. I have one. Uh, I got an now. He should go climb that and get up there. Yes, he did. Oh, no, don't go to bed. Sir, you are an archer. Put that down here. That down here. Um, but anyways, guys, this is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, if so, please smack the like button. Um, again, Duck, thank you for joining me, man. This is going to be an amazing series. Um, yeah, and as always, we will catch you in the next one. Peace!